Hi guys, it's me and teacher assistant Summer here, ready to begin an awesome Wednesday's PowerPoint. So let me start sharing my screen. And here we go. Welcome back to Wednesday's April 29th class and your objective. How slash what needs to be filled in for ideas, materials, and the process section of your AP portfolio. So this is how it looks guys in your AP portfolio. So in your, your SIs now only upload 10 for your uh, selected, sorry, for your sustained investigation. You do not upload all 15. Now you will only be uploading 10. The other five, you need to add the placeholders. Shout out to those students that have already uploaded the placeholders. It will save you time if you do it already. So as you know, you only fill in 10 spots in your sustained investigation for number 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. There is placeholders, which I made a PowerPoint video. I have a couple students, about five, that have not looked at the video. So if you need to go back and watch Friday, April 24th video of how to upload placeholders, go back and do that, guys. Make sure you know where to find them and how to upload them. And I even shared a free app that you can download that makes turning and converting your images to JPEG so much easier. All right, so sustained investigations. Now only 10 artworks need to be uploaded. You must fill in materials and process for those 10. Remember, only up to 100 characters. So this is the little boxes that you need to fill in. This is how it looks for each of those 10 artworks. All right, so process guys, what is it? What do you need to write about? You will write about how you made the artwork or what element, principle, or skill you focused on. So it's going to be what helped you create the artwork. So I gave an example here. I gave two examples. So one example was watercolor background and blues to show calm. Layers of ink to add emphasis. I wanted drama and excitement. Remember, only 100 characters, so I tried to narrow it down. Then there's another example that's even smaller. I use black outline ink for contrast. So it's as simple as that. Bringing your ideas, elements, and principles or skills that you focused on. That is the process. So those are two examples that would qualify as uh, typing or writing about your process. All right, materials. It's as easy as what materials did you use? Did you use acrylic? Did you use tempera? Did you use graphite? Remember, graphite is pencil. So you're just going to fill in the materials you used. If you're not sure, you might want to Google and just double check. Maybe I used mixed media paper. A lot of you did. Did you use watercolor paper? Did you use watercolors? So literally, you are typing in what materials you used. Selected works, now only three. So there's still gonna be five um, placeholder, um, five images to upload. You will only upload three of your best finished selected works. Your other two, number four and number five. Once again, you will be adding placeholders. Now, the difference in selected works is there is another information box that's called ideas or it's titled idea or ideas. So again, max of 100 characters and spaces. This is an example of a student that has typed his information on a different doc so that he's ready to copy and paste it into the ideas section. So this student did photography and his ideas, what he's talking about is, this image was meant to reflect the mysterious uh, present in certain aspects of human spirit. Although he wears all black and a hat that perhaps disguises or hides his appearance, one look into his face in this photo shows distinctiveness. So that is a lot that he wrote about, but now he's going to go back and just use certain parts from that for the idea. So again, he talks about the water highlights the sense of mystery, of intensity, of the moment. So he continues describing it. From that, he's going to take those ideas that he wrote and minimum, minimalize them into 100 characters. So I'm going to give you an example that I took and I wrote about. So here was a student that was doing their sustained investigation with charcoal drawings and they were focusing specifically on human bones. So in their selected works, if this was one of their works, um, 
for their ideas, the example they could have written down was, the idea was to accurately, accurately represent bones with the rough texture of charcoal. So that would be a perfect idea that he could maybe elaborate a little more if he wants to, he doesn't have to, for his selected works under the idea box. Now, recommendations. I recommend you use Google Docs to write out all the required information first and then go back, copy and paste. I put and two times. Let me go ahead and finish, fix that. Um, go back, copy and paste. Copy and paste in the boxes. Don't forget to click save guys after every change um, because if you do not, it won't save it into your portfolio. So the perfect thing is to write your little information down. Not so much, remember, it's not a whole bunch of information, but write the information down on Google Docs so if you happen to forget to click save, you have it saved somewhere. So I know you have a lot to get to, so I only have two questions for this exit ticket. So please make sure you go back to today's PowerPoint video for the answers. So once again, for the process or processes box, what do you need to write about? Guys, it's as easy as going back to the um, PowerPoint and I actually highlight where it says process and what you write about, the same thing with ideas. So guys, you know where to find the answers. There are in, in this PowerPoint. Now you can go and start typing in the information needed for those boxes, as well as uploading your artworks. And once again, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to reach me here on Teams or message me in an email, whichever um, is easier for you. All right, guys. If you have any questions, message me. If not, I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great day.